It's it, man. What's going on, guys? I'm gonna bring you guys a retail review of Flux. This is Flux's first year release as a standalone product. We've already seen the hobby version. This is the retail blasters that can be found on Target. Fanatics, uh, I believe, is where we've been getting them. So um, I'll let you guys know if it's worth the buy or not. guys I'm back I have three blasters as you guys know this is Flux's first year it was previously in Chronicles Panini released it on its own uh, you guys have saw me open first off the line of this product where I got Panini wow what do you say after that one brutal savage wrecked absolutely taken down <laughs> no autographs out of two boxes so Maybe I'll hit an auto out of here. I don't know actually. So these are the blasters. Uh, if you guys have been grabbing any restock from Target, Target actually had these for sale and uh, they were readily available. You could buy three, I believe three at a time. Yeah, three at a time from Target. And uh, they were they were often on the website. So a lot of you guys might have picked this up or maybe thought about picking this up. If you haven't, I'll let you guys know if it's worth it after I do this review right here. They were also seen on the Fanatics website as well. Uh, they did go in stock for a while. So they're, they've been in and out of stock at Target. So a lot of people were like, hey, is Flux worth the buy? We're about to find out. Let's take a look at the box. This is 2020-21 Flux. It's gonna come with three cards per pack, 16 packs per box, so only 18 cards total. They're gonna come with two blaster exclusive mojo prisms per box on average. Let's take a look at the sides. You can definitely, it says look for flux signatures and flux rookie signatures. So you can definitely pull autos out of here. Let's take a look at the odds. There it is. It is a 250 card set. And you can pull actually number cards all the way down to one. So pretty cool that you can put hit number cards out of retail uh, usually some of the retail sets you won't be able to hit any number cards or like only number down to a certain number but actually flux you can hit them all the way down to one so it must have their own retail one of one inserts um, only 18 cards that kind of worries me usually blasters are anywhere between 24 all the way up to like 88 cards for some of the paper sets so 18 is a little on the thin side that's what she said We'll see though, and also these did retail for $29.99, so it's over $30. So you're paying, I mean, almost $2 a card, like $1.80 a card or something like that. So uh, it is a chrome set, so they're kind of a more premium uh, card. It's not gonna be as expensive as like Prism, Optic, or anything like that, but it is a new set. I liked the Hobby release. Let's see how retail does us. Let's cut into it, guys. Let me know if you guys were able to snag any of these or if you guys have bought some of these yourselves. I wanna hear. This is my first look at opening any uh, any Flux retail at all. I was a big fan of Flux in, um, when it was in Chronicles. It was I thought it was one of the, the cooler looking sets. Here it is. Having a three card pack is a little weird. You would think they did do at least four cards, but three three it is. I guess three is a magic number. Same design as the Hobby. Um, pretty similar to what was in Chronicles as well. Jamal Murray, uh, Sabin Lee, and Jerry West. It does have a little gunk on it or something. That's weird. All right. On to the next pack. We have, looks like a Mojo, so that's gonna be one of our Mojo Prisms. Looks like you get two per box on average. We have DeAndre Hunter, Kendrick Nunn, and our Mojo is, oh no, I'm blind. She's blind as a bat. Kendrick Nunn is our Mojo <laughs> on the back is Mitch Robinson. Okay, I'm looking through a small camera. I don't have it on screen in front of me, so it's a little hard to see. Kendrick Nunn is our Mojo that is not gonna be numbered. <laughs> it was right in front of me. I, I, I may be a little blind. All right, we have Kevin Kevon Looney, 
Uh, Zeke Najee on the rookie, and how about Rui? Three cards per pack. It, I mean, it seems like a waste of, of uh, packaging to put only three cards per pack. All right, looks like we have a silver insert, Montrez Harrell. It's going to be Patrick Beverly on the Flux Appeal. Uh, this is definitely a retail insert. Um, they do have their own retail inserts, I guess, different from the hobby inserts. That is going to be a silver as well, Patrick Beverly. And then Gary Harris. We have Dorian Finney-Smith, uh, Kyra Lewis, and Vince Carter. So that's three rookies so far, one parallel. We should have our other mojo in here, probably in the middle again. Uh, Chris Middleton, it is going to be in the middle. How about... That is Kelvin Johnson for the Spurs, and then uh, CJ McCollum. So um, we got our two mojos, which were both vets, unfortunately. Uh, the Flux Appeal, only three rookies. So that, that was a pretty rough blaster. Um, so far, if I had a complaint, it would be, hey, again, only 18 cards. Let's see. Blaster, let's see if the second blaster does us better than that. Blaster number two. We have Marcus Morris, uh, Azubuki, and Derek White. We have our mojo in here. That's going to be Jared Allen. Let's see what team it is. It's going to be for the Raptors. All right. Not many Raptor rookies. Maybe Malachi Flynn, uh, Kyle Lowry, and then Reggie Bullock. We have Bazemore, uh, Dylan Brooks, that is a silver. Uh, we did get a silver last pack, it was on an insert though. And then Joe Ingles. Two packs left here. How about Joe Harris? Ooh, we have a red, I wonder if red's numbered. Uh, Terrence Ross, and then we do have a red, it looked like a red mojo, yeah, it looked like a red mojo. That might be numbered, let's see what team it is. It's gonna be upside down. The team is the Kings. And I see a rookie shield, so we're rooting for Halle Burton. I know there's probably Woodard and um, who's that other one they have? Anyways, we're rooting for Halle. Ah, that's good. Oh, it is Halle. All right. I thought we missed, but we actually got a Halle. It did not look like him for some reason, but there it is. Let's see if this is numbered. That is going to be numbered to 8 out of 49. Hey. That's a pretty nice hit there. Uh, red Mojo, so the reds are numbered to 49. It looks a little bit off center to me. Maybe the thicker border on here, or maybe they're supposed to be like that. I think they're actually supposed to be like that. Let's be, let me go ahead and sleeve that up. So, I mean, one of the top rookies from last year to 49. Uh, that definitely made that blaster worth it. All right, on to the next one. So second blaster did us okay. First one was pretty bad. All right, we have Paul George. We might have got an auto as well. This blaster might be the best one yet. Uh, Isaac Okoro and our auto, I think, is uh, FLSLTR. Leonard Truck Robinson on the silver auto. Who the f is this asshole? The cool thing is, look how he signed that. He actually signed it Truck Robinson. Hey, it's an auto, we'll take it. Uh, looks like he was a retired guy, played for the Phoenix Suns. Uh, if you guys know about him, let me know. He must be before my time, and I'm pretty old, so I'm, a, I'm, I'm assuming it's before everyone else's time that's watching this video as well. Maybe not. Maybe you got some old timers out there. Shout out to all the old guys like me. We're a generation of doers. Not whiners. And we're doing great. All right, we have, that must be an insert. Uh, for the Cavaliers, Garland. Actually, it's dual team, Blazers. And uh, Cavs, Garland, and Lillard. I've actually never seen that insert before. 
That is called Deja Vu, so it must be like the player that they play kind of like. So, hey, pretty cool, pretty cool insert there. Uh, blaster number three. So, so far we've had the total extreme of blasters. We had a really bad one that literally gave us nothing. And then, uh, and then we had a really good one that gave us an auto and a Halliburton red to 49. So, I mean, this one might be in between is my best guess, but we totally, that. Yeah, hey, I'm glad that I was able to open the, a really bad one and a really good one for you guys so you kind of know like what's the worst you can expect and what's the best you can expect, so. All right, last blaster. This will settle it once and for all, for all if uh, if uh, this these blasters are good or not. <laughs> Box number three. We have Devonte Graham, uh, Lamelo. That's our first Mello. There we go. Stay tuned for the end of the video because I will be giving out a few cards for you guys. So, and then uh, George Hill. Nice Mello there. That is just the base. Uh, nothing special on that, but hey, it's nice to hit a Mello. I would like a color. A Lamello color. Uh, this is going to be LeBron. Nice Bron there. Uh, our mojo is going to be D'Angelo Russell and Jerry West. Mr. Logo. We have Larry Nance. Uh, Cassius Stanley on the silver rookie. And then Mitchell Robinson. Bam out of Bayou. Dylan Brooks is our mojo and Rui. So so far on the mojos, uh, we haven't got any rookies. I think uh, I think if you can a rookie mojo, that's that's kind of cool. Um, we did not, we haven't so far, so we struck out on that. A couple packs left. Shamit, uh, Nico Mannion, and Harris. And then our last pack. This is looking to be like the first blaster, <laughs> actually. All right, Nicholas Batum. We have Devin Vassell on the 2021 freshman year. That is one of the rookie inserts. And then the last card, Vince Carter. Okay, so so we I think we had two really bad blasters um, and then one really good one. So it seems like with only 18 cards, most blasters, you're, you're gonna have to hit something good. Overall, I would say, I would say it is actually a pretty fun rip. My only complaint is, is 18 cards. For $30, I feel like the price should be around $20 to $25 for a blaster, and then uh, or add more cards. You know, a hobby box is going somewhere between $250 and $300. You're getting 50 cards, an auto guaranteed and in case card, or you could rip probably what 10, 8 to 10 of these for the same price. That's a tough call. If you had to pick between 8 to 10 blasters or a hobby box, I would probably go with the hobby box just because of big hit potential. However, I think they're both good rips. I think if you can buy this at retail, do it. It is it is a good rip. I would, I would recommend it. You know, you guys saw, we got a couple bad boxes though, but if you get a good box, it makes up for it. Let's do a little recap and then I'll pick out a card to give up to you guys. Uh, we did get a Truck Robinson Auto, Silver Auto, and then a Lamello Base and a Tyrese Halliburton to 49. So I'm actually gonna give away this uh, Lamello right here. Here's what you gotta do to be entered in the giveaway. All you have to do is like this video right here. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and comment below. Just let me know if uh, if you've bought any Flux or if, you're, or if you would buy Flux at retail price, the Blasters anyways. That's all guys, hopefully I did a good review for you guys. Thanks for stopping by, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll check you guys out next time.